Hi there, Scorpio. So I'm going to be doing your reading right now, and I'd like to make a note that I also offer personal readings. So if you're interested, please check out the description box below. This is a general reading for Scorpio. A you versus them general love reading. Okay, let's get a good shuffle. Scorpio. Okay, that's good enough. Can I get a card for Scorpio's person? Scorpio's person. It's the Seven of Pentacles, okay. Can I get a card for Scorpio? That so wanted to come out, so I'll take it. Ooh, Ten of Cups. Can I get a card for Scorpio's person? The Two of Swords, okay. Can I get a card for Scorpio? The hair fawn in reverse. Can I get a card for Scorpio's person? Two cards. The ten of swords in reverse with the eight of pentacles. Okay. Can I get a card for Scorpio? Strength. Okay. In reverse. Shared mutual feelings. The Queen of Cups in reverse. And the Moon. Okay. So I feel like your person, because they got the Seven of Pentacles, they're really thinking about this connection. Okay? They're feeling nostalgic. They're thinking about the memories, especially if you, the both of you had a past. But they're feeling nostalgic here. But they got the Two of Swords here. So they could be somewhat guarded. They could be up in their head about things. Um, but there is a sense of guardedness here, especially with this Two of Swords. You can see that the, the swords are crossed right in front of this person. Um, so they could also be letting go of control, okay, and leaving things to fate as well. Uh, but your person also got the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles. So I feel like because they're missing you, they're having trouble getting over this pain, okay, that they feel in regards to this disconnect. It seems like that it is a disconnect because I see the Hierophon card in reverse, okay, on your side. So they could be distracting themselves with work here with the Eight of Pentacles. Really focused in order to divert their attention from the pain that they're feeling from this disconnect, okay? But they're clearly missing you here. Um, you got the Ten of Cups for your side, and that's talking about happiness, okay? Even though you're, you're trying to uh, achieve some sort of happiness for yourself, or that is in store for you, okay? Um, this connection may have brought in, um, you know, may have been draining to you, okay? With the Hierophon card in reverse, with strength in reverse. But I still think you're focusing on achieving some sort of happiness, whether it's in another connection or um, in general when it comes to yourself, okay? You're trying to stay positive. You're trying to be, stay, you know, focus on um, what's in front of you here, okay? But with the Hierophon card in reverse and strength in reverse, this connection could be draining, okay? Um, for the shared mutual feelings, I see the Queen of Cups in reverse. So this could be your energy not being quite open, okay? Um, when it comes to this person, or, you know, it could be both with the Queen of Cups in reverse. But I see the Moon card. So this is talking about secrets, okay? Or things that are hidden. Again, when I clarify, I'll get a better understanding of what's actually going on here. Okay, so let's clarify the Seven of Pentacles for your person's energy. So they're missing you. They're feeling nostalgic. You could be dealing with an earth sign. You could be dealing with an air sign. You could be dealing with a Leo with strength in reverse. The hair phone card in reverse. Taurus. You could also be dealing with another water sign. Okay, let's clarify Seven of Pentacles. 
Here we go, the Empress in reverse. So they are thinking about you, right? So this is clearly a disconnect for the Empress card to be sh showing up in reverse here. Um, they did find you very nurturing. Your person found you very nurturing, very loving. Um, and there is a sense of nostalgia, definitely missing you here, okay? But the two of you don't seem to be together and there is a separation, okay? Let's clarify the Ten of Cups on your side. Ace of Pentacles in reverse. So this could have been a marriage. Doesn't necessarily have to be. But, okay, so this could have been a, this could have, a, could have had a potential for commitment, okay? Uh, with the Ten of Cups. But it's, you got also the Ace of Pentacles in reverse with the Six of Pentacles in reverse. So there could have been, uh, this could have been a missed opportunity, but it seems like there was an imbalance when it came to this connection, okay? Someone could have been giving more than the other person. There was no equal give and take here. Okay, so this could have been a marriage, doesn't necessarily have to be, but it, it had the potential of going further, but it just seems like there was someone was giving more to the connection than the other person. Let's clarify the Two of Swords. There you go, the Ten of Cups. So there was a potential here, okay, um, for commitment. Uh, with the Ten of Cups showing up on both sides. Um, this could have been a... You know, this could have led to that, you know, that fairy tale kind of um, happily ever after. But someone was resistant to it with the Two of Swords. And I feel like that could have been your person. They could have had their guard up. Uh, they could have resisted this connection here. And I feel like there is regrets. Okay, with the Seven of Pentacles and the Two of Swords, your person regrets the decisions that they have made, okay, in regards to this connection. Let's clarify the hair font in reverse. The Page of Cups in reverse. Okay, so this person, if you were expecting an apology from this person, this person hasn't offered you that. They haven't offered you any sort of commitment. They didn't offer you their Cup of Love with the Page of Cups in reverse, okay? Let's clarify the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles for your person's energy. Judgment. Okay, so it's regarding a choice that they made, okay? Um, and... For them to avoid feeling the regret here, they are throwing themselves into work with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? So the Ten of Swords in reverse with the Eight of Pentacles and Judgment, okay? They're they, it's regarding a decision that they made. And in order for them not to feel that regret and that pain, they're really putting themselves, you know, into their work, trying to distract themselves. It's hard though, okay? It's hard for them. Let's clarify Strength in reverse. There you go. Like this connection could have been very draining. And, but I feel like, like I said in the very beginning, that you could be focused on achieving some sort of happiness here for yourself, okay? Doesn't necessarily have to be in another connection. Um, you're focusing on your pentacles. You're focusing on your independence. You're focusing on healing from, from this, okay? Because you found it very draining. Let's clarify the queen of cups in reverse. The ace of cups, okay. So like I said, this had the potential. Um, with the Queen of Cups in reverse, I feel like someone was clearly not open here, um, whether it was you or your person. Um, since they got the Two of Swords, so they could have been resistant to this. Uh, that could have very well have, um, this had the potential, okay, of being a brand new beginning in love here. That's too bad. Let's clarify the moon here. What's what's this hidden energy? Five of pentacles in reverse. So someone felt like they were left out in the cold here and someone's trying to get over that, right? Oh my god. Okay, there you go. The seven of pentacles. Um, So it's a decision that your person made. I feel like this is your person's energy. So this is the hidden energy. Um, that the Eight of Pentacles, sorry, okay, they got the Eight of Pentacles twice here. Um, so it's a decision that they made that made you feel like they left you out in the cold, okay? 
um, and they're trying to distract themselves from this 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 decision, this poor decision that they made. Okay, um, this poor judgment that they made. That's interesting. So they're finding it hard with a Ten of Swords in reverse, okay? Wow, there's a lot of regret on your person's side. A lot of regret. Um, it just seems so obvious that your person regrets a choice that they made. Let's clarify with a different deck. The Empress in reverse. Let's clarify the Empress in reverse. There we go, the Five of Cups in reverse. I really feel like this is your person's energy. Um, they're feeling nostalgic, they're missing you, okay? And they got, I feel like the Five of Cups in reverse and the Five of Pentacles in reverse, they're trying to get over this loss here, but it's like they have a lot of regret. And in order for them to distract themselves, they're putting themselves into work, like really trying to distract themselves from this. Um, let's clarify the Six of Pentacles. So there's no action being taken as of yet. The Chariot in reverse. Yeah, so it's regarding a decision. Um, so you could have felt like you gave more to the connection than they did, okay? Um, They really, it seems like they could have resisted this connection as well, somehow. The Four of Cups in reverse. So they don't want to think about the fact that um, they could have disappointed you here, okay? Um, with the Four of Cups in reverse. It's hard. As much as they try to block this connection, it's hard for them to ignore this connection, okay? Okay. They just, it doesn't seem like they can ignore it with the Four of Cups in Reverse. Let's clarify the Page of Cups in Reverse. Too many cards. Let's get another. Shuffle. There we go. Justice in Reverse. Yeah, they didn't make things right here. They really left you hanging. Um... From what I'm seeing with the Ace of Pentacles in reverse, Six of Pentacles in reverse, the Chariot in reverse, the Page of Cups in reverse, and now Justice in reverse. They didn't make things right. And this also talks about balance. So they didn't balance things out in this connection. Interesting. Let's clarify judgment. There you go, the Empress. Oh my god. Um, they made a really bad choice here, okay? Um so they see you as this empress. They see you as somebody that's very loving, that's very nurturing, okay? Um, they could have seen, they, they actually regret a choice that they made, which prevented them from having this 10 of cups, okay? With you, specifically with you, right? And uh, they're trying to get over this loss, okay? Um, it's really, it's weighing really heavily on them, okay? They're feeling the pain and in order for them to only forget what an error they made in judgment, they're throwing themselves into work, okay? And I feel like that's the main message here. So let's clarify the Nine of Pentacles. Okay, let's try it. I, I have, something's wrong with me today. Uh, <laughs> I'm, must be the coffee. Let's try that again. Nine of Pentacles. There you go, the Queen of Cups. So you're putting that love and that energy that you may have put into this person for yourself, okay? With the Queen of Cups next to the Nine of Pentacles. You're putting all that energy into yourself, okay? Um, and I think that's what the main message here is, you know, that I feel like your energy, I'm really liking your energy, that you're putting all this love towards yourself, right? And that's the, that's awesome. Um, let's clarify the Ace of Cups here. The Five of Wands, yeah. So someone could have been, there could have been conflict here. Um, seems like there was conflict here with the Five of Wands. 
Now I feel like there is resistance, possibly on your side as well, okay? Given the fact that you may have given a lot to this connection. Let's clarify the Eight of Pentacles. Yeah, it just seems like someone was giving more. Clarifying the Eight of Pentacles. Temperance, oh my God. Um, um, I really feel like, um, I need to get another card for this. It's like, just one second, let me get another card. This is also talking about balance as well with temperance, right? The Nine of Swords. Your person's hoping that the longer they wait, the, s the longer they wait, or the m they're, they're thinking that time will actually help them feel, you know, they'll feel much better. So if they keep throwing themselves into work, somehow over time they'll get over um this anxiety that they're feeling this regret okay and i see this with the nine of swords here and temperance um it just seems like it's really hard for them um like there's a lot of regret on their side and it's hard for them to get over this pain and they're hoping that if they focus on work somehow it will balance things out and they'll not feel as bad for the choice that they made here. So, so far not, it's not working, right? It's hard for them, but there's a lot of anxiety here, okay? It, it keeps them up at night. Um, I don't think it's been easy for your person, but I really like your energy that you're putting all that love and energy that you put towards this person, towards yourself here, right? And what more can you want? That's awesome. All right, Scorpio. Um, and um, I hope you got better insight into the situation that you have with your person and I'll see you next.